You can do it! Further adventures in Japan! Hello all you wonderful people! I'm out here in Sinzayabachi for their Halloween party! And you know from my previous videos going to Halloween Horror Nights and seeing people all dressed up in Halloween costumes and cosplays and stuff, you might think, well gosh darn darry, that dead Halloween is really, really popular and they've had a long time here in Japan. But you'd be wrong. Yeah. I'm gonna tell you five things you didn't know about Halloween in Japan. So first, let's start off with the basics. If you think Halloween is an American holiday because all the money they put into Halloween around the season, guess what? You're wrong! I could see how you could have that misconception. Actually, the origins of Halloween trace back to Ireland, where they believe that the dead rose up on October 31st. So they would wear masks and make jack-o'-lanterns out of fruit to scare the ghosts and confuse them because you don't want ghosts coming into your house to scare it. In the 17 to 1800s, when the Irish immigrated to America, they also brought their traditions of Halloween with them. And this is completely off topic, but if you ever want to read a great story about immigrants bringing their culture and religions to America and bringing their gods, their physical manifestation of their gods to America and now they're in the present day and they're completely weak, I highly recommend checking out Neil Gaiman's American God. Enough about that, let's get back to Japan. Now to say that Japan does not have a lot of strange and unique stories in its history would be doing a disservice to this extremely unique culture of Japan. They actually have yokai out here which are are creatures, monsters that are made when you break or misuse products that basically come back and haunt you. They actually have a street in Kyoto that's dedicated to these creatures that these shop owners actually make their own yokai. And they have the array, which if you think ghosts are cute, your array are terrifying. Basically, they're people who died with passions in their heart that they couldn't fulfill, and they come back from the dead to try to complete what they couldn't do in life life over and over again. A great example of this would be Sadako or Samara depending on which ring version you see. Also have Onis which are basically big red demons that beat you in the face if you run into them. They're people you don't want to mess with and from my experience at the Hell Shrine if you tell a lie they'll rip out your tongue. So watch out for that. So let's jump into this list. The first thing about Halloween in Japan is that Japan has a similar day to Halloween. Well maybe not a day but more of a month. The festival happens in August, and they call it the Old Bone Festival. They believe that ghosts rise up from the graves and go check out where they were buried. So the residents of the area like to clean off the graves to make sure that their stay is a good one because you don't want them turning to yuris and scaring the crap out of you. I actually went to Fushimi Inari during this time, and you know what I can say at night? That place is pretty, pretty creepy. It's even scarier when they say that ghosts are walking around. Actually, when I was researching this subject, I found that there's actually a yokai train that will take you from Kyoto to Arashiyama, and during your transport there, yokais will come on the train and try to scare you. I want to do that. I guess next August I gotta get myself on one of those yokai trains. Number two about Halloween in Japan is who brought Halloween to Japan and when did they bring it? Surprisingly, you know this company. The answer is Disney. In 1997, at Tokyo Disneyland, they started the first Halloween party and parade, and people really enjoyed it. Some people probably went just because they wanted to cosplay as their favorite Disney character. Which, by the way, if you want to go to Tokyo Disneyland or Tokyo Disney Sea during Halloween and you want to cosplay, go ahead, but make sure you cosplay as a Disney character. Because if you cosplay as anyone else from any other company, they won't let you in. Then, in 2002, one year after opening, Universal Studios Japan started their first Halloween event, calling it Hollywood Halloween! Uh, apparently it featured Beetlejuice dancing and learning about Halloween and being taught how to play DDR. DDR! Kids, 
It was a big deal. It was a really big deal. Now DDR, what, what is, what is, well, anyway, I can't find any video or pictures of this. If anyone can find those for me, I'd be happy just to see them. Seeing in the success of Universal Studios Japan and Disney, more companies started selling Halloween assorted goods, costumes, candy, everything. There's profits to be made. There's greed to be had. It's kind of like Christmas out here. Everything is commercial, uh, but that's another story altogether. This doesn't segue at all in the number three, which did you know that in Japan they like to have train Halloween parties? That's right, a lot of people get on trains dressed up and they have parties. This does cause problems in Japan because if you're gonna have a party on a train, you might have delays, you might have people stopping people from getting out because you're having a party, which does lead into number four. In 2009 in Tokyo, there was a huge anti-Halloween protest because of the train parties. People said, we don't need Halloween. There were also a lot more obscene signs, but I just don't want to show them. But if you really want to look it up, put in Tokyo Halloween protest 2009. You'll see it. You'll start to figure out that it might have been more than just Halloween that they were protesting. But hey, you know, you get those everywhere. And this leads to number five about Halloween in Japan. This year, Halloween in Japan is huge and it's going to start growing bigger and bigger. If you go to Tokyo, to Shibuya, one of the biggest crossings in the world, you will not find any cars there. It has been designated a Halloween party spot. In fact, most of the major cities in Japan have a Halloween party on Halloween or the weekend before Halloween. It's crazy busy and it's one of the coolest costume places that you can go to. You know, it's funny how this brand new holiday came out of Disney and Universal Studios. One focusing on the cute and the other drawing a line in the sand and kind of making it a little less family friendly. And nonetheless, that's five things you didn't know about Halloween in Japan. If you learned something new, make sure you like, make sure you click that subscribe button, because hey, knowledge is power, and power, I don't know what you do with it, but hey, do whatever you want with it. As I always say, you can do it, I can do it, we can all do it, stay groovy, have a wonderful day, and happy Halloween from Japan. Peace.